Hey, Shalom and blessing, saints. You know, let me just come back on with the video. Been quite a while, you know, but uh, <clears throat> things are definitely slowing down for everybody uh, because of this coronavirus, of this COVID-19. And uh, <clears throat> I really wanted to come on real quick and uh, speak on um, a certain subject pertaining to us brothers, to us men, especially in the ministry, the straightway truth ministry, man. Um, I've been around since 2011, uh, about mid-year, August is my first trip I ever took the straightway, man. And uh, since that time, me and my brother was able to learn quite a bit. And uh, <clears throat> I made a video on Sons of Jacob uh, maybe some days ago. And uh, what led me to make that video was because these thoughts were running through my head. Um, I was taking a self-assessment. I was doing an evaluation is what I was doing. I was checking myself. Um, have I done enough? Have I prepared enough? Have I, you know, all the normal questions that man would ask himself. And so I thought to put it out there on Sons of Jacob, you know, for brothers to do a self-evaluation, for brothers to uh, reassess their situation, whether it be ment mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And um, I didn't I didn't think I was gonna get much response out of it, but I ended up I ended up getting responses out of it. I really did. And uh, <clears throat> one of the statements I got um, was, "Man, Elder, you put your foot in my ass." You wanna know why? It's because his brother was feeling the heat. Fear was gripping. All right, wonderful brother, but fear was gripping him. You understand? You know why fear would grip you at a time like this? You, all you could think back on is, man, how long I've been around. Let's say if it was me, right? <clears throat> Can you imagine if me and my shy, my children, or my son and daughter was in my own little place? <clears throat> and let's say I live in some apartment, maybe a home or whatever, but it's just us. That's all it is. And I've been around all these years, and I never stored up not one can of food. See them cans behind me? Didn't store up not one can of food. Didn't store up any water. Didn't store up any Mylar bags. Didn't uh, learn how to can. Didn't learn how to cook outside. Didn't learn how to do all these things, right? Didn't learn how to shoot guns. Didn't know how to butcher chickens or butcher any other, any animals, field dress them, things of that nature. Where would I be in mind? You know what I'm saying? And so really at the end of the day, what I'm speaking on is... A lot of these brothers in his ministry, a lot of men in his ministry, you're failing. You have you have failed and you're failing. That's where you're at. This is why when this coronavirus is coming about, this is why fear is gripping you. This is why you're losing it. This is why you're torn up inside. You know, we got brothers moving in fear, going to different locations. We got brothers coming out, backbiting and tail bearing, talking shit about other men, other brethren in the faith, you know, what you're mad at. You know, I've been listening to the same word you've been listening to. I've been listening to the same preachings, the same teachings, whether it's come from the pastors, whether it comes from the elders, whether it comes from the teachers, even brothers, deacons, whatever the case may be. I've listened to these same words, meaning we got the same preaching. We got the same warnings. We had, we had the same opportunity to take heed. You know, when I first started listening to the shepherd, man, he was talking about getting with people with like precious faith, like mindedness. That's what that's what he was pushing at the time. And so that's exactly what people like myself, Deacon Gorman, Brother Greg. This is what we did. And a few other faithful brethren that are here with me now. We came together is what we did. We came together. We started developing relationships is what we did. We began to love one another is what we did. You know, we begin to uh, iron, sharpen iron is what we did. <clears throat> now, you know, looking back, I wish we would have moved faster. You know, uh, I really do. And is the community where I would like it to be? No. But you know where I'm at? I'm out here in the country. My closest neighbor uh, ain't much of a neighbor, but he's about an acre and a half away. Our next neighbors uh, are over a mile to two miles away from us. That's right. We out here. It's quiet. I listen to a creek run. 
near by the house is what I do. My children are able to play out on the playground. We way out here. I'm glad I'm not in the cities no more. That's because we took heed. Us men took heed. We listened. And how many of you can sit there and say to yourself, hmm, man, I've been around all this time, and what do I got to show for it? I've learned, I had all these preachings. What do I have to, what do I have to show for it? Man, this week there's been a lot of teachings and old preachings and old warnings coming online. Brother Shannon did a great video, and he talked, he showed Pastor Dow warnings from 2011 all the way up to 2019, December. I think it was December 3rd. And can you imagine not being prepared all this time? And Brother Shannon puts a video up like that. What is, what, how would that make you feel? You got to look back and say, man, I got nothing to show for all this time that I heard this preaching, this same word. You see what I'm saying? Then um, you got certain faithful brothers coming up, man, pastors putting up all kinds. They, they put up all kinds of videos of the shepherd sitting at his desk, you know. I think uh, firsthand knowledge or witness of uh, living through the Great Depression or something of that nature. That video popped up again. And I'm pretty sure as these videos played, you just played, you knew exactly where you were when he made these videos. If you're in fear, if you did not prepare, that's what's happening to your mind. You see what I'm saying? But then you have these homesteads and you have these fellowships. They, they've, they've, they've came together. They, they, they put in the sacrifices. Many people don't want to put in the sacrifices. Many brothers don't. You know, for the iron sharper and iron to subject themselves one unto another, uh, <clears throat> to submit. You know, brothers don't want to do that. You know, and now men, some men are paying the ultimate price for it. You know, and man, it, w would it not be a sad thing, as Pastor said in that video, man? In all those videos, he talked about that belly hitting that spine, children looking into your faces, wanting to know when you, when you gonna feed them again, things of that nature, and and I just can't, I just couldn't, you know. Anyway, but we're failing. Brothers out there are failing, man. You failed. That's where you're at. And I hate it. I hate it for the, I hate it for these shies. I hate it for the women. I, I, I hate it for these um, sons and daughters out there. I really do. But, you know, not everybody can go to these um, uh, communities. Can't everybody go to these home fellowships? Can't everybody do that? You know, this is why Pastor put it out. You know, get around the brethren that are around you. This you could have been doing. You could be around for a year. You could have done some of this. You know, grow relationships with your brother. Love your brothers. Iron sharpen iron. Build relationships. All these things. So that way, you guys can put your resources together and be together and and ride some of this out. You know, when I was during Hurricane Harvey in 2017, it, this was my third storm that I've been through when I was down in the Gulf Coast region and so I was a little bit tested if you will uh, of kind of waiting these things out you know living without power uh, just kind of grinding it out really not knowing what's coming next just waiting for it to be over you know this one they ain't know where to run they ain't know where to run they ain't know now this is just not just no little hurricane this ain't no tornado you see what I'm saying this ain't no flood you know this thing ain't going nowhere you see what I'm saying and, uh, but I can remember that, that Harvey. And I can remember three of us brothers came together and I said, and, and the sisters, their, the water was getting in their house. And they was probably about, I don't know, two miles up the road or something. And they said, oh, they want to take us. They want to put us on the boat. They want to bring them to these um, FEMA camps or something. Not FEMA camps, but it was uh, Red Cross and, um, they were basically bringing everybody, kind of like what they did during Katrina. They brought them to Houston. They put them in the Astro Dome or whatever, and they just packed them in like animals is what they did. And they they gave them cots to lay on, and there was women getting raped. You see what I'm saying? There was violence going on. People was getting beat up and jumped and stuff. People were being assaulted. People be, were being harassed, and the thought came to mind, I don't want them going nowhere. So me and two other brothers walked out of that house, and we walked over there in inches of water up to four and four feet of water three feet of water to go get these women and we took them off the boat and we walked them all the way back over to our house baggages um we had one daughter ayana it was sister kairisha her daughter sister Carell, it was Catherine and mom brenda we walked them all the way back but that is the love that's the camaraderie we built that is the the uh iron sharper and iron that we had built up you see what I'm saying? That that was the relationship that we built up. 
you know, we loved them enough to go get them. You see what I'm saying? They they showed a spirit that we, we wanted to make sure we took care of them. They were with us. They were in the body, if you will. But come on, man, some of you brothers out there, it's a shame, man. You're looking at, you're looking at other men take care of you and your family, man, and you make no moves of your own. Yet, we've been listening to the same word. It's a damn shame. So, another brother told me this. He said, man, I tell you, he said, boy, we make it out of this one. Man, we make it out of this one. Boy, it, man, I ain't never going to get caught with my pants down again. So, my question is, why did you get caught with your pants down in the first place? You see what I'm saying? So, um, I really hope for all our sakes that we have more time, that we're able to come out of this. And when we do, what you need to do is you need to take mental notes. You probably even need to write this stuff down. Or what I don't have. What I wish I would have had. You see what I'm saying? Uh, how long is this going to go? We don't know. But if we make it out of this, y'all willing we do, you need to be counting that. You need to be looking out. You need to be seeing what you can do better to be in a better situation for you and your family, for you and your brother, for you and your sisters, for you and your sons and your daughters. This is what you need to do. Take mental notes. You need to take notes, you know, of how to, how to do this better. Now I run to a store and get, man, we got a creek out here. I told a brother, I ain't worried about toilet tissue, you know. I, I, I got grass. I got the creek. I'll just go jump in the creek and, and clean myself. I'll be all right. You see what I'm saying? This is how we're thinking out here. So it was like, what do we need? What do we don't need? You see what I'm saying? And that's what you need to do. You need to take a self-assessment. You need to take an evaluation of what you got and where you're at in this life, at this time and hour that we're living in. You need to truly uh, have, a, have a gut check time right now. Right now. That's really what needs to happen. So, and uh, y'all willing next time around, because there will be a next time, you're not caught like this. You're not caught and gripped with fear. You can be at peace somewhat. Hallelujah. All right, well, that's enough. I don't want to continue to ramble on, but I think uh, us men need to do a better job. We got to do a better job, man. We got to listen. We really do. And we got to put things into practice. And there's many of us, like myself, hey, we're pretty prepared. You know, we're pretty prepared, but I'm not as prepared as I would like to be. I'm not even, I, I want more. You see what I'm saying? I want to be more prepared. I want more skills. I want more knowledge because we are a growing and expanding community. You know what I mean? But I, like I said, I'm glad I'm out here. I'm glad I'm out here. So, and not out there uh, in these cities. Anyway, I hope this message finds you guys well. I bless each and every last one of you guys. And uh, push forward. Hallelujah.